Hello friends, it is my end of May pre-Memorial Day weekend grocery haul. Yes, next weekend, or this coming weekend is Memorial Day weekend. And so I bought some special things for us to have for our dinner on that on Memorial Day, which is actually on Monday, a week from today. When you'll be seeing this video, it'll be the beginning of the Memorial Day weekend on Friday. So I hope you all have a very wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Um, as always, when I go to town, I make several stops. And so yet again, I had to make several stops. Uh, I went over to Tractor Supply to get some more chick food grower for our meat chickens and some uh, pine shavings for their bedding. That's still out in the car. Travis will take care of that. But while I was there, I picked up uh, a couple of plants that I want to show you. Um, so anyway, at the beginning of this video, I'm going to show you the tractor supply. That'll be the first thing you see. And then we had to go over to Walmart again <laughs> to get a prescription. And we picked up a couple of things there. So I'll show you uh, tractor supply and Walmart first. So the other thing that I picked up from tractor supply were these two geraniums. Um, obviously this one is red. I'm not sure what color this one is going to be. It might be red as well. Um, one of my flower pots that I have my radishes in, the radishes are ready. I noticed this morning they're ready to pick. Once I get those radishes out of that container, I'm going to plant these geraniums in there. And so that'll be, be done. Then that pot will just have geraniums in it for the rest of the summer. Um, the rest of this is what I picked up from Walmart. I have been wanting watermelon so bad. They finally had them for a decent price. This was under $5, $4 and something. This watermelon, now just hopefully it's good, but I'll be cutting that today because I love watermelon and I was really wanting some. Um, I picked up some of this Sweet Baby Ray's. Uh, most of this food stuff was a uh, like impulse purchase. Um, this just sounded really, really good to me. A mild blend of horseradish and spice. I thought this would be super good with french fries and stuff. So I picked that up. Picked up some more lip gloss. I really like the pumping, plumping kind. And I got this is from the Hard Candy um, brand and the color is nude beach well that's the only place a nude beach will be found on me <laughs> it's on my lips <laughs> i wouldn't actually go to one for any amount of money but anyways i got that and then i've been needing a new razor my razor is just dead and i've heard a lot of good things about this billy brand from the trim healthy mama sisters so I thought I would give this a try. It comes with one handle, two blades, and one magnetic holder for the uh, shower. So got that. Um, I've also been wanting to do an Oreo feeder. I've been wanting to feed the Orioles for a really long time. Finally broke down and bought an Oreo feeder because I want to feed the birds off my front deck, but I don't want any bird seed because that will just grow weeds in my flower pots. So I'm going to do hummingbirds and an Oriole. I wasn't sure what to feed Orioles in a feed. I know you can do like grape jelly, but you can't do that in this kind of a feeder. So I went ahead and just picked up some of this Oriole feeder. Two packages of that. Um, I was absolutely starving, so I picked up some of these granola bars. They're really tasty, but they're very tiny. They're very, very tiny. What are they doing? I'm eating a hot dog. Oh, Olivia's eating a hot dog. So they're over here making all kinds of noises. That is why, because they know they're going to get some. Oh, those dogs. All right. All three of you go in the other room. <laughs> Let me finish my haul. Anyway, as I was saying, they taste really, really good, but they're really tiny. I ended up eating two of them in the car because I was so hungry. But look at that, how tiny they are. But granola bars are so expensive. Olivia and I are going to be um, trying our best to come up with a good granola bar recipe and start making our own from scratch. Um, I picked up some bananas because as you'll see later on in this haul, my Aldi bananas are so green. 
Um, I'm hoping that they will be ripened by Memorial Day because um, we're having uh, an ice cream sundae bar as part of the fun that day and I wanted some bananas. But anyway, I wanted to get some bananas that were actually edible now. So I picked up a few of those. Olivia really loves this lunch on the run kits. So we picked up two more of those. And then I got four more cans of this sausage to go down in my long-term storage. So that is everything I picked up from Walmart and Tractor Supply. I'll get this stuff put away and I'll show you what we got at Kroger. All right, this is everything I picked up from Kroger, a bit uh, more this time. Uh, I'm already starting to think ahead towards Christmas and I always get Travis a bag of these big Swedish fish for Christmas and so I went ahead and just got that now. They will stay perfectly good until Christmas time. And that's my plan is to like every week or so or get something for somebody for Christmas because I'm just afraid, I'm just afraid there won't be a whole lot available come Christmas time or the prices are going to be just too high to, for anything. So that's what the Swedish fish are all about. I got four cans of chicken broth and four cans of beef broth. This is for down in the long term storage. Travis's Mountain Dew. I got two of these uh, vegan mac macaroni and cheese dinners, uh, also for long-term storage. Got another thing of our dishwasher uh, cleaning packs. Oliver's playing with his loud toy again. I got some more coffee filters and another thing of coffee for the guys. They again had Olivia's kimchi noodle bowls, so I got her four of those. I picked up some Worcestershire, <laughs> I can't say it. Worcestershire sauce. Uh, I use this a lot when I'm cooking because um, I do a lot of ground pork and this makes it more flavorful if I add this to it. It kind of makes it taste more like beef to me. It's been a lot of years since I've eaten beef but from my memory that's what it kind of does. I got another thing of Miracle Whip. I buy this every time I shop. We use a lot of Miracle Whip especially in the summertime picked up a thing of single sweet chocolate chips, a thing of pizza sauce. Um, I got two tubes of this tomato paste. One is for now, one is for the long-term storage. I got another thing of cornstarch. I got two more cake mixes, also for just long-term storage or just for whatever, a white and a devil's food. And then I also got a vanilla frosting and a dark chocolate fudge. Got another thing of our prunes that we like. Um, I got some more of this um, cold brew iced tea. If you guys have never tried this, you really need to try it. It is so good. Um, I My favorite, well, I, don't, I, I like them all. I can't really say I have a favorite. But um, I've, they've got a berry flavor, which I didn't order this time. And they also have just a regular iced tea. Um, I can make regular iced tea with my tea bags pretty easily. So I didn't get that, but um, Olivia particularly likes this uh, sweetened tea with lemon. And so that's, I got those. These are so nice. You just throw them in a glass of cold water, add some ice, and there you go. Have iced tea. I don't use shortening very often, but I do use it on occasion. And so I picked up another thing of shortening because we were almost out. I got a thing of carrots. I picked up some Jello just to keep in the cupboard for whatever. Um, summertime, you know, you do a lot more cold salads. So I picked up a cherry, which is a big one. And then I got two of the Berry Blue. Two of these equals one of the big ones. And then I got two of the Raspberry. I got another thing of our pork sausage. Got some more of my uh, protein uh, Greek style uh, dairy-free yogurt, two strawberries, two vanillas. This was a mistake. I ordered two bags of chicken strips and they only gave me one and I was pretty upset because that's what we're having for dinner tonight and one bag is not enough. But thankfully you will see in my Aldi portion of the order, Aldi actually had chicken strips this time. So I got a bag of chicken strips from Aldi. Um, got, got some of the extra crispy french fries. These are for our dinner tonight as well. Got some more of our dairy-free cheeses, mozzarella and cheddar, as well as a pound of our 
dairy-free butter, and a thing of unsweetened almond milk. This is something they don't always have at Kroger, which I was very happy to see, and that is a Cool Whip made with coconut. So this is dairy-free. And then I alluded to we are going to have ice cream sundae bars for our dessert on Memorial Day. So I picked up some of this Neapolitan for the guys. And then this is oat milk ice cream, strawberry graham. And it's the only flavor they have um, in this uh, pint, not pint, quart, quart size. So I picked that up. And then also I got us some of the vanilla because that is Olivia's favorite. She loves vanilla ice cream. All right, that's everything I got from Kroger. I'll get this stuff put away and then show you what I picked up from Aldi. All right, this is what I picked up from Aldi. And as you can see, the table is totally packed with stuff. We'll start with the non-food items. I thought these were cute. I don't know how much they were. They didn't, I didn't see a price, but I thought for Memorial Day, we'll have some pretty napkins. So I picked those up. Olivia was needing some of these. They are for cleaning screens, like your phone and tablet and laptop and that kind of stuff. And these were on clearance for 99 cents. So that was a good deal. Olivia paid for this. It's a pretty little word search book. She loves the um, cover. She loves to do word searches too, but I bet you anything once this word search is done, she'll find another use for the cover because it's really pretty. All right, now for the bread items, I got four packages of everything bagels for Travis. I got two packages of the maple French toast bagels for me. Um, for Memorial Day, we are having hamburgers on the grill, so I got some hamburger buns. They didn't have the cheapy 88 cent ones, so I got one package of the potato roll, and then Olivia thought these artisanal ones looked good as well. So I got one of each. I got two uh, loaves of the artisanal white bread and one ro um, loaf of whole wheat. It was the last loaf of anything besides white bread that they had at Aldi. Uh, I picked up some more chips. These chips are also for uh, Memorial Day. I'm gonna make a nice potato salad to go with and we'll probably also have baked beans so that's a perfect uh, kickoff to the summer meal. So we have the barbecue and the wavy regular. Those are for Memorial Day. And then I've got my regular tortilla chips and then these Texas seasoned. There was only like three or four bags of these left and I really liked them. So I picked those up and those are just for eating whenever. Um, I picked up another five pound bag of flour just to use. And then I got some of this regular, just white granulated sugar um, to use to make hummingbird nectar out of. Uh, I picked up some coconut. This is for our ice cream sundaes. Got two bags of brown sugar. We were um, completely out, so I got two. I got some oil, because they say you should stock up on oil. So that's for our prepper pantry. I picked these up because I thought they sounded really good. They're sweetened with stevia. They're by the brand Zevia, which I drink their pop, and it's really good. <clears throat> I got the Earl Grey Blood Orange, the Black Raspberry, Black Tea Raspberry, not Black Raspberry, <laughs> and then this is Sweetened Hibiscus Tea Passion Fruit. So I just wanted to give those a try. I got two boxes of these blueberry granola bars for uh, Scott. These, these granola bars are for Olivia to take in her purse for different things. I don't really care for these that much. They're okay, <clears throat> but I really do like these. So I'll probably snatch one of those once in a while. Um, these look really interesting and I wanted to give these a try. Norwegian crisp bread, everything. So like everything but the bagel seasoning on these crisp breads. Picked up two things of uh, meat snick sticks for Scott for his lunch and for snacks. Some pepperoni for when we do pizza night. 
I picked up these little ca uh, cookies also for our ice cream sundaes. Um, these is this is the um, my tongue is not working today. I keep slurring my words together. I promise I haven't been drinking. <laughs> these are the chocolate chip ones, and these are the just baked chocolate. I thought those would be fun on ice cream. I picked up some lentils and split peas. These are for my long-term storage. Picked up some ground black pepper because we were almost out. I picked up some nuts because we needed them. I thought the almonds would be good on uh, ice cream as well as pecans. Um, either one or both, whichever anybody wants to do. I got one box of cereal this time. The Raisin Bran, it's the Granola Raisin Bran. I got two boxes of pasta. These are for just using right now. I've got quite a bit of pasta in my long-term storage, but I don't have any for eating right now. So I got one box of rotini and one box of penne. This is like the Aldi brand of Jif, Jiffy or whatever, Jiffy corn muffin mix, but the Jiffy has milk in it, so I'd never buy it. Well, this Baker's Corner does not have any dairy in it so I picked up four boxes I thought that was really um, I was really excited to see that I was really surprised actually that there was no dairy in them I picked up some chocolate syrup for our ice cream um, also I didn't know that um, Aldi carried Worcestershire <laughs> sauce and it was only 99 cents and I know I got some from Kroger, but I thought, hey, I'll pick this up as well. I use it quite a lot, actually, so it will not go to waste. I got some uh, dill chip, dill pickle chips for our hamburgers, as well as to put in the potato salad when I make potato salad. Got some peanuts for our ice cream sundaes. They, look at this. Look, can you believe it? They actually had grape jelly. First time in about six weeks. So I got two. <laughs> I got five dozen eggs. I got some red potatoes. This is what I'll make the uh, potato salad out of. I got two sweet potatoes. I got some mangoes. They look really good. I got some of those. I got some of these cosmic crisp apples the last time and they were very good. So I got another bag of those. Um, I'll go ahead and finish with the produce that I can on this side of the table. Uh, I got two heads of iceberg lettuce. These are those remarkably green bananas that I was telling you about. Um, the, all these canned goods are for long-term storage. Uh, I got four cans of this steak and potato soup. And then I went ahead and just got a whole case of the tomato sauce. I got two cans of green beans that basically to just uh, replace some that we already used and this can got squished somehow. It wasn't that way when I put it in my cart. So this one's going to go in the pantry upstairs and we'll use it right away. The other can is fine. And then I got a thing of baked beans. We'll use these for our memorial dinner. Um, I got some of this spray whip topping. This is the dairy kind for the guys, and then I got the coconut non-dairy kind for Olivia and I. Those are for our ice cream sundaes. Uh, I'm going to come around on this side of the table now. Um, I've got some of these honey battered uh, breast tenders. These are for Olivia to eat with her um, kimchi noodles. She likes to put chicken in them. Got the guys some mild cheddar cheese, shredded, some hamburgers, some sour cream, this is a coconut and almond milk blend. I just thought it sounded really good and something different besides the um, almond milk that I use. And there was only 45 calories per serving. Got some half and half for Scott's coffee. And I got some of the hazelnut coffee creamer for Travis and Scott. Got some of this lactose free milk for Travis. And yes, I picked up more ice cream. <laughs> We love ice cream. It doesn't last very long around here. We are going to save this though for Memorial Day. Um, we're not going to crack it open till then, but it should last us a good long while. 
they don't always have the vegan ice cream there. So I went ahead and got it. And I figured if I got some for Olivia and I, I needed to get some for the guys as well. So I got the chocolate, the mocha fudge, and then for the guys, I got the chocolate chip cookie dough. I got a pound of butter for the guys and some of these cheese slices for sandwiches, as well as some ham slices for sandwiches. Got some hot dogs for the freezer. Here's the chicken strips that will go with our dinner tonight. I got two rising crust pizzas for Travis for his lunches. One is three meat and the other is pepperoni. Uh, I got some fresh green beans. These are for the dogs for snacks. Um, Sally needs to lose a little bit of weight, so we're going to start giving her green beans instead of <clears throat> regular dog cookies. I got some of these little grape tomatoes. They had their candy hearts grapes again, and they had them on sale. So I got two packages of those. I got some of these wet mopping cloths. These are actually cheaper than what I can get at uh, Dollar General. So I picked up a package of those. And then I got a package of napkins. Whew, that's a lot of talking. <laughs> I think that's everything. If you see something on the table that I didn't mention, at least you will see it. Nope, I don't think I forgot anything. All right, friends, that's it for my end of May pre-Memorial Day grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I hope you all have a very, very happy and safe Memorial Day holiday. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.